hello guys welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i want to teach you how to cut a six pieces skirt so for the back center i measure three inches and i rule a line from the beginning to the end is three inches so this is the back side of it and this is the front center so i want to get the center first so i place it this way this is the line i place it this way so I'm going to take the measurement. I'm working with the bust pan. The bust pan is three and a half inches plus half inch, making it four inches. So I measure four inches this way. This is starting point. This is the waist. I'm going to measure from the waist to the hip from the waist to the hip which is eight inches then i'm going to measure 17 inches for the knee so this is the full length the full length is 27 plus one inch that's it This line is for the hip. This is the knee line. Remember, I want to get the center of the back and center of the front together. So as, as I said, the boss span is three and a half inches plus one plus half inch that's three and a half inches plus half inch making it four inches so i'll bring down the four inches this way the four inches this way also at the knee line this is a knee line i'm not going to short anything from here so i'm taking from from the waist to the hip to the knee So I want to take the circumference for the down. The down I'm taking 11 inches. That's for the center front and the center back. This is the center back. I'm going to connect from here to the edge. Connecting it this way. Then I'll rule a line here. This is the zipper. This is the zipper. Then I'm going to measure two inches for the zipper that is zip allowance two inches two inches all the way down then i rule a line so this is zipper that's for the zip here at the hip line I'll connect it this way. I'm marking one inch at the knee line. I'll connect it this way. Or I can as well connect it to this point. There are two ways for you to do it. Connect it to the knee line direct, or you connect it to one inch and join the line. So this is the back side of it.
then I'll connect from the center front and from the knee to the length of it. Then I'll come here and take one inch for the slant. So this the way I connect it. So I'm connecting it this way. I'm going to cut it. I'm cutting it this way. Remember, I'm cutting both the, the center front and the center back together. So this is the back side of it, the center back. This is how the center front look like. And this is how the center back This the center back. Remember, it's a six pieces case, so that is center back. This is the front pattern, as I said. I'm going to place it this way. I've already drawn a line. I place it this way. This is the center front. I drew a line to this place. Then I. I drew straight line. This is the hip line, the knee line, and the waist line. This is the length of it. So I'm going to turn it this way. Remember, it's folded into two. I place it like this to get this line, this line here. So I'm, I'll then turn it like this. So as, as I turn it this way, I want it to be the same. So I'm drawing the line here. Then from this line, this regard this line, what I did was for me to get the straight line of this and the, this flare line. So I've gotten it. So I'm going to place it this way and take the measurement, the circumference. I'll place 
it this way. Remember, this is three and a half inches plus half inch, making it four. So I now place it this way. I remove the three and a half inch. Remember, it's six pieces skirt. So the waist is 28 divided by four, which is seven inches plus three inches allowance. So I'm taking 10 inches this way. At the hip measurement, I measure three and a half inches out. This is a three and a half inches plus half inch. So I, I, I don't want to include the half inch allowance. So it's three and a half inches. Remember the, the hip is eight and a half inches, 34 divided by four. Eight and a half inches plus three inches. That is eleven and a half inches. I'll see place the three and a half inches this way. This is eleven and a half inches. I'm going to take away one inch. So I'm going to measure one inch from 11 and a half inches so it's going to be 10 and a half inches so i measure it this way from here i'll draw the line down to the edge of this pattern paper So I'm joining the line this way. I'm going to use the hip cuff to cuff the hip to the waistline. So I'll cut it. This is the side. I'm cutting the four sides together. Remember the pattern paper, I folded it into two. So this one is into two, plus this other one. So, as you can see, it's into four now. One, two, three, four. So, I'm cutting all of them together. This side pattern, I'm cutting all of them together. Remember, I cut the front pattern together. Put the back. subscribe to the channel this is a new channel support my ministry ministry of fashion thank you so much so this is the side aspect of it so I'm going to Place it this way. I want to give a little cuff to the front side of it. I measure half inch here. Half inch this way. I'll connect it to the side. So 
So this is how I'm going to connect it. Both the back and the front. Then I'm connected this way. I've connected it already. So I'm going to add half inch allowance to it. This is the outcome of a six pieces case. This is the front pattern, the center front. You can see how it is. This is the side of the front pattern. This is another side of it. This is how it is. So this is the front pattern. So this is the back pattern now. This is the zipper, as I said. You can add like half inch or one inch here and connect it this way. But I decided to connect my own to the near line. So this is the zipper. This is the zipper now. This is the center back. This is the center back. You can see the flare. This is the side back. This is another side back. This is how it looks like. So this is a perfect six pieces skate pattern. So I'll use it and I'll place it on the fabric and cut. It is somebody's measurement. That's why I'm measuring with the pattern. So I'm going to place it on the fabric and cut. So as I said, this is the back side of it and this is the front side of it. So for the waistband, the waistband, you fold it this way. You have to join the center this way. Start from the waist, join it, make sure that you make a notch. Let it be the same thing. So it this way. Or if you want to start from the down, you can start equally start that way. Join it to the waist. Join this side also. Then place the band on it. When you finish joining it, place the band on it and cut. The same thing applicable to the back side of it. Join it, open it, and iron it. It's the same joining. Join it this way. Join it from here. This is the zipper. Join it from here. Here. Join the two sides. This other one, join it to this side. And join it this way. Remember the zipper. When you are through with it, this other side of the bag, join it the same way. You see the flare will come out. It's somebody's pattern. When I finish, I place it on the fabric and cut it. So please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. If you're new channel, what are you waiting for? Thank you so much. God bless you. Stay safe. Bye.